Hello and welcome. In today's video, we are going to discuss which programming language to learn in 2020. As this is the question which arises in the mind of a lot of people who start to learn programming, that which programming language they should choose. So in today's video, I will tell you which programming language to choose based on the statistics of the current users from GitHub and their current job percentages, their key features and the top companies using them. So we are going to discuss about three programming languages which are Python, C Sharp and Java. So now let's begin. At first we have C Sharp. C Sharp is a static programming language which means that in C Sharp you have to describe the data types of the variables while writing the program. So the data types of the variables are not decided at runtime which increases the execution speed of the program. C Sharp has better community support. Better community support means that it has some forms available where you can get a lot of information about it. Also, all the documentation of the C Sharp is available online. Alongside, you have a lot of the new packages available, which help you build your applications really fast. C Sharp has much better access to Windows API. The main reason behind this is that it is developed by the Microsoft. So Microsoft provided it a lot of access to the Windows allowing the C Sharp to build more customized applications using WPF Windows Presentation Foundation or Windows Form. Provides mobile support. You can develop mobile applications using Xamarin and iOS applications too. But it is lower than Java. So now we will see which companies use C Sharp. The top companies using C Sharp are SpaceX, Intel, Raython, Boeing. So now let's move forward. Now we are going to discuss about Python. Python is a dynamic programming language. This means that it is opposite to that of C sharp. So do you do not describe the data types of the variables by writing the program. Everything is decided at a runtime, which reduces the execution speed for the Python. Due to this reason, Python is slower than the C sharp and Java, but it is faster than the other dynamic programming languages such as Perl. It is a cross-platform. Cross-platform means that you do not have to change the code of the Python to run on Linux, Mac, OS and Windows. You can just copy the code and paste it in any OS and you can just run it. Scripting language. Python is a scripting language. This means that Python has no well-defined syntax like C, C sharp, C, C++. You just write a code in a file and when you start the execution of the file, the code execution starts from the top, very top. Widely used in development. Python is nowadays widely used in the development of websites, artificial intelligence applications and data scientist applications. Slowest of the three. The main reason for the Python that it is slowest is the that it is dynamic. It means that everything in the Python is decided at the runtime. So which requires time and slows the execution speed of the Python. But it is relatively faster than the other dynamic programming languages. So now let's see which companies use Python. At first we have Uber, Netflix, Google, Dropbox and Spotify. So now let's move to the Java. Java programming language. Java is also a static programming language just like C sharp. It is faster than C sharp. The reason that Java is faster than C sharp is that Java is more object oriented than C sharp. Backward compatible. Java is backward compatible. This means that it can access the interfaces and the data from the previous versions of the Java language. Strong multi-platform server system. Java is basically developed for the web development. So it has strong multi-platform server systems which allow it to deploy the websites easily. And also, if you want to do the mobile development, you should learn Java runs on JVM, Java Virtual Machine. So Java Virtual Machine should be installed on your PC before you try to run a program written in Java. So Java Virtual Machine translates the Java program, compiles it and runs it. So now we see which companies use Java. Instagram, Airbnb, Pinterest, Amazon. So now we will see the percentage of the active users from the GitHub 
or for each programming language and also we will see the percentage of the jobs available so here we will see that first we have python having 14.75 monthly active users then java and then we have c sharp 5.03% also we can see this line which shows that the number of the users which are still active if we go down we can see a lot of other languages such as go typescript ruby and you can just search it online and for the jobs we have first javascript and second we have java java jobs are significantly increasing in the past few years but have decreased 4% in 2019 python jobs are significantly increasing and for the c sharp the jobs are also increasing but in 2019 this percentage of the c sharp jobs also decreased by 3% so if you want to learn python programming language then please subscribe our channel so if you want to learn python programming language so do subscribe our channel and check out the python videos so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe our channel to stay tuned for other videos